This is Dolany TV and a big welcome back to NHL 17 here on the channel guys. Today the Edmonton Oilers franchise mode once again picking up where we left off last time heading into round one against the Arizona Coyotes. We gotta hold our team meeting and get everyone on board here as soon as possible see if we can't uh, get everyone pumped up so let's see uh, hold team meeting. And let's see, it doesn't matter what who we are playing, we need to play hard. And as a team, nobody really liked that. That was kind of the wrong answer there, so that's okay. I think we have to send down a goaltender here to the AHL really quickly. And then we'll be good to go as we just need to manage the roster a little bit. Roster moves, there we go. And let's see if I'm correct here. Goalies, let's see. Goalies, yes, Sandstrom has to go down. And then we have to get Cam Talbot into the lineup and get him ready to be our backup once again in case we should have someone go down in that form of Steve Mason. So there we go, Cam Talbot, ready to play. There we are, let's go. Let's see if we can't uh, start these playoffs on a hot streak. You know how it goes every time out. So let's see, calendar, and we are going to get into that first game against Arizona right there on the road. It's been a while since we were on a road game to start playoff series of course last year we had that stellar season so here we go goals to start it we have two we have Pugliarvi and Letestu after I called Letestu pretty much useless to us he gets a goal to open up the playoffs for us and after period number well two Connor McDavid strikes on Ben Bishop and you know what our top line is producing so let's increase the sim speed and see if we can't damn it Christian Dvorak scores and that'll not it at three apiece of five on four power play for the Coyotes. They can't get it done. We're leading in shots. Just need anything here. And Darnell Nurse, that's what we're talking about with seven minutes remaining, or eight minutes remaining, I guess, got the job done and looks like we're going to take this. Ryan Nugent Hopkins on the empty net. And that is the way it goes in game number one, we end up taking it. Connor McDavid, a goal and an assist. Nugent Hopkins, a goal and an assist. Dylan Strom, who has been recently sent down to the OHL, was able to have a stellar game for the Coyotes, but not enough. And Marco Scandella has been injured until May 1st, so of course the injuries have to come, don't they? They just have to. So Josh Jacobs is going to draw into the lineup, unless I can pull up uh, an AHL rookie here. Um, no, nope. let's uh, go back to edit lines. You know what, Marco Scandella is a shutdown defenseman. Jacobs is a shutdown defenseman. We'll substitute him in all lines and hope for the best. Caleb Jones up to an 87 overall. Two assists in that game. Guy is just crushing it, so I'm not going to complain about that. So we'll simulate up to the second game on the road against Arizona. Looking for two straight in Gila Arena, if it is still Gila Arena. And we are looking for the next game. Here we go, sim game. Let's see if we can't uh, get this done. Go! one nothing after the first. Okay, one nothing. Brandon Pellini scored. And after the second, 2-1 Adam Larson scores. So the defense getting pretty active in this uh, whole series. It was the forwards who scored 4-5. But Darnell Nurse with the game winner last game out. And we are looking for another big goal here on the power play. I'll take anything. Patrick Maroon. There we go, so we've got our tied at two in the second period. Are we going to overtime? We're out shooting them heavily. You think we gotta get our chances eventually. 48 seconds and we are going to overtime. So Patrick Maroon, the hero so far. A power play to start it for Arizona. They're not gonna get it done. Can we take two straight? I would love a big overtime goal here from Connor McDavid, who didn't have a great regular season this year. And there you go, bingo! Connor McDavid scores on Ben Bishop, and we have ourselves a 2-0 series lead. Let's take a look at the three stars. It's Steve Mason with a 1.68 goals against average. Guy was insane. And then you got Connor McDavid, a goal and an assist. He's showing up big in this playoff series so far. Everyone's saying he was having a bad year. Well, now through two games, he's got four points, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. Let's see. The Oilers have gained... Locker room chemistry. I just want to check uh, make sure our lines are still good here And then we'll move on to the next game So our lines I want to see who's been doing well who hasn't uh, Newton Hopkins up there on the top line 
He's had a goal and two assists. Pooley Harvey, do you deserve a call up? No, you definitely don't. Ehlers, do you deserve a call up? Two assists, not at all. Dry Saddle, anything? No, Dry Saddle's been pointless so far in this playoffs. So we just got to keep rolling here, guys. Two wins in two games to start round one. I'm not going to complain right there as we're going to take the Arizona Coyotes to Rogers Place and uh, try and show them a thing or two here. The AHL season has ended. That's okay. They end, uh, I don't think they ended up getting into the playoffs, so we're not too concerned there as let's get game number three underway as 0-0 zero, zero after the first and after the second. Arizona, Christian Dvorak taking the one nothing lead for them. Let's see if we can't uh, take a 1-1 one, one tie in overtime. I would take that. I'm not asking for two goals here. I'm just asking for one. Ten minutes remaining. It's starting to look bleak here as we just need one goal. That's it. That's all. And Ryan Nugent Hopkins probably an assist to McDavid. That's what we're talking about. Come on. We need another goal here now if we can get it. 43 seconds and we're not going to get it. So we're going to overtime for the second straight game. 31 shots on the board and Yuri Laterra. Yes, sir, he scores, and we are up 3-0 in the series. That one I'm going to give Kem, or Steve Mason the first star. Yes, sir, .98 goals against average, 28 saves, 965 save percentage. Guy was awesome. And Yuri Letera, the overtime hero, as Ben Bishop takes home the second star. So we're looking for that nice, clean sweep here. This episode going by so fast. Uh, Jordan Martinook is available to play in the next game. Edit Lines, Martinook was a regular player for us all this year. So we'll get Connor Brickley out. And we'll get Martinook in. So Martinook, get in there. There we go. And that's our lines going into game seven. Or game seven. Game four. It should be a game seven mentality, though. Closed out. As we are... Oh, we lo what was I doing? Okay, we ended up taking game three. And okay, so obviously I simmed a game, so we're actually only up 3-1. Okay, that's my bad. We're up 3-1. Let's close this out here. As I don't know why I took that game. So let's go first period, nothing doing there. Second period, and it's 2-1 Arizona. Leon Drysettle scores his first of the series. So let's see if we can't uh, come back from this deficit and figure something out here. 15 minutes on the board. We need another goal. Just one would do it. Another OT victory would be perfectly fine with me. Come on. There we go. Tyler Toffoli. That's what we're talking about. A big goal there. Can we take our final game here in overtime? Anything doing would be great for me. Come on. Let's go to overtime. Why not? Another straight game into overtime. Let's see if we can't skate to another victory. Arizona out shooting us so far. And they've got a 5 on 4. They're not going to get it done. So it's going to come down to the wire here. And... Lawson Kraus will score the overtime winner for Arizona. So it's a 3-2 series at this point. 3-2 overtime win, 2-1 overtime win. And now we go into Arizona with a 3-2 overtime loss. So it's a 3-2 series right here. Let's simulate this game. We're looking to take the victory. We're going to go sim all the way as we're going to eight times sim it and see if we can't. Uh, there we go, Caleb Jones. Scoring a clutch goal from us from the top of the circle. It's D'Angelo, their stud defenseman, getting back into it for them. And then it's Dauphin getting a goal. So, okay, things are getting chippy here in the first period. Not a lot of shots, but a lot of goals. And it is 2-1 heading into the first intermission. Come on now, Oilers. There we go, Caleb Jones, a second goal from the same spot. And the kids lighten the lamp here in game number six. This is awesome. Let's go 14 minutes and Dauphin scores again. So it's back and forth for Arizona here. They get a power play and we're not going to be able to allow them to score. As we kill that one and we're going to the third period again down by one. We've trailed a lot going into the third period. Teddy Purcell scores. So we've got some work to do with two minutes remaining or two goals remaining to get caught. Nikolai Ehlers, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Teddy Purcell scores again. Down by two. Can we make the comeback on? Five on four power play. Nothing doing there. We need a big comeback in these last five minutes. We're not going to get it by the looks of it. Two minutes remaining. 
And that will be the end of the game as Teddy Purcell, the MVP of that game, definitely for the Arizona Coyotes, as he had two goals and an assist while Caleb Jones had his two goals. No hits. Caleb Jones doesn't hit. That's the key. And we are going to game number seven against the Arizona Coyotes in Arizona. A tough matchup to say the least. Let's see if we can't uh, get uh, a team meeting underway here and call them out for their lackluster performance so far. Uh, we have uh, not common. History is filled with huge comebacks. No, we haven't really come back. Our fans are already calling for some heads. You want yours to be on there. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Should not have taken Connor Brickley out of the lineup, I don't think. That might have been a bad move, but let's see. Let's get into game number seven. The 49 win. Arizona Coyotes are going down. Sim game. And let's see if we can't get something going. Nick Mark Letestu out there. D'Angelo scores to open it up. So D'Angelo having a good last two games. 15 minutes remaining and we are going to get on the penalty kill once again, but we'll kill it off another time How about a second time in a row? There we go three penalty kills so far in this game We're doing exactly what we need to do and we are tying it up with a minute remaining in Connor McDavid That is what we're talking about. That is clutch in the final minute. What minute 23? We scored two goals resume the simulation and let's go get this game one Second period, let's put up some points on the power play. Nothing there and there, so that's all right as we've got 10 minutes remaining in this period just to hold on to the 2-1 lead. I would love to take a 3-1 lead into the intermission. Nothing to an end. Yes, he pulled the RV. That's what we're talking about. 17 shots, 18 shots, 3 goals. And we are going in in a pretty good position to win this one. Another goal seals the fate of the Arizona Coyotes, but Max Domi gets him back into it. Steve Mason, you just got to shut the door from here on out. Ten minutes remaining. Connor McDavid! Yes, that's what we're talking about. 4-2 victory here. It looks to be maybe getting empty netter, but it looks like we are taking this series from the Arizona Coyotes. It is a game seven victory for the Edmonton Oilers on the road in Arizona. Connor McDavid, obviously the first star, two goals and an assist. A goal and an assist for Jesse Pugliarvi, and Anthony, Anthony D'Angelo does his thing for the Arizona Coyotes. But once more, we advance to the second round. So this is our year right here to go in deep to the playoffs once more. We end up taking a 4-3 victory over top of the Arizona Coyotes. Let's take a look at the playoff stats. And in seven games, Connor McDavid showed up, had 10 points. So if he had this clip in the regular season, we'd be talking MVP numbers. Caleb Jones, seven points. Pugliarvi, seven points. Nugent Hopkins, six. Ehlers, five. Toffoli, five. Stashny, Laterra. And then everyone else just with a couple of points. I mean, Brickley, Nurse had one. So it's Brickley, Riley, Martinook, Scandella, Jacobs, and Reinhardt. So... Uh, three of our regular defensemen without points. That is not what we want to talk about right there. The back end needs to figure out some scoring. That's pretty rough, but guys, we are headed to round number two in these 2020 Stanley Cup playoffs. It's going to be a great time. Let's see if we can not find out who our opponent's going to be after game seven. Nothing doing there, and game seven is over, and it's the LA Kings. Once more, we'll be on the road. So, guys, thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like, and I will catch you guys in the next one.